It seems that unemployment is a serious problem now. Oh, yes. Is that so? People feel miserable without a job. Of course. I'm one of the lucky ones. What? I don't believe it. You don't have to shout, Alfred. I'm so surprised. Well, whatever is it, then? You'd be surprised. Well, I am. Dolph has inherited a fortune and he's very rich. What's that? That's what it says. Wait a minute, doesn't he have a rich aunt somewhere? No, it's a man called Fink, and they've known each other for a long time. But it says here Dolph doesn't really know why he inherited this man's wealth. Fink? Mm, he's pretty notorious, and he's said to have made quite a fortune for himself in illegal wheeling and dealing. So the inheritance must be dirty money. Dolph says here, I'll take the money as a godsend, and I'd like to use it for society, not for myself. So I'm going to form a political party to bring back justice to society in this country, and the party will be called the National Crow Party. Is this the cue for people waiting to become party members? Yeah, that's right. If you want to become a member, get in line. Thanks. You'll need a joining fee. I know, but do you guarantee me getting a job? Of course, the president wouldn't tell a lie. President? President Dolph of the Crow Party. Dolph is justice! Dolph is justice! Dolph is justice! Dolph is justice! Gosh, Hank, it says in today's paper, with their heads held high, members of the National Crow Party are marching everywhere in harmony these days, shouting party slogans on their way. In just a short time, the National Crow Party has grown enormously. In fact, this organization looks almost like an army. The existence of the Crow Party seems to be posing a serious problem in this kingdom. It seems like things are beginning to get quite serious then, Hank. But why? We'll have to see what's going on for ourselves. You're right, Alfred. You're right. My friends, to see justice done in this country of ours, I will devote the rest of my life. What is justice? Justice means all our citizens living a happy life. We don't need anyone posing a threat to our country. And next we have to eliminate the privileged classes. Let's get something straight. We don't need a king anymore. I have the power. And I say this to you. Let the National Crow Party have all the power. And give all your support to the party. This is unbelievable, Alfred. Eh? What's all the noise about, Rupee? As I see it, the situation is becoming very serious indeed, Your Majesty. The popularity of this man, Dolph, is far greater than yours, I'm afraid, and something must be done before it's too late. Hmm, the Lord Chamberlain seems just a trifle over-nervous, General Rangpang. Yes, sir. I hear that the Crow Party has its own army, so maybe they will defy us. I want to hear what you have to say. Well, as you probably all know, our army and navy are more like a team of guard than real armed forces. This Dolph character is even calling for the overthrow of our king. And I agree with Chamberlain Rupee here. We have got to do something about this right now. Uh, Minister of Finance. Well, I am opposed to both of them, and I think we should leave things as they are. Dolph is playing around just like a child. Dolph? A child? Huh? Excuse me, Minister, have you seen Dolph addressing a crowd of our citizens in the stadium? If you had, you wouldn't make such a remark, I'll tell you that. <coughs> oh. Oh. oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Does this Dolph want to be the new king, then? No, that's not true. It's not fair. Dolph can become king, but I can't become Dolph, can I?
What's this? Right. You must come along with us now. No, I don't have to. If you don't come with us, we'll have to take you by force. So are you arresting me then? You have no right to put a citizen under arrest. You just shut up. What's that? We don't want you in the service of the king any longer now. Take him away. You! Come! Now! Wake up, Ranpan. What's that? Get dressed and come with us right now. You're from the Crow Party. What are you going to do with me? Get out of bed. You'll have to die if you defy us. You know, you won't get away with this outrage, don't you? The National Crow Party and its leader, President Dolph, have ordered your arrest. <laughs> and what's the charge, then? The charge against you is treason. So hurry up and get out. This is just the beginning, Hank. People everywhere are being arrested and ill-treated or having their freedom interfered with by the National Crow Party. It's about time we let Dolph know about all this and the things being done in his name and get him to put a stop to it. I'm going along to see him now. Excuse me, where's Dolph, please? Then what do you want? I want to talk to Dolph. You want to talk to Dolph who? To the Dolph, your boss, of course. You'll have to call him President Dolph from now on. President Dolph, then. Well, can I see him? No. That's impossible because there are 97 people waiting to see him before you. Would you like to wait? We can't promise for how long. Hey, Alfred. Andy. I just want to see Dolph now. So you want to join our party, eh, Alfred? No, I don't. But I must talk to him. Ah. Welcome, Alfred. Hi, Dolph. Have a seat here. So, Alfred, you will be my first priority, if you're offering to help us financially, or do you want to join the party? Dolph, I think you have a real misunderstanding of the situation. Oh, and so? I'm not convinced at all about your campaign. You should stop before it's too late. Is that all you want to say? Uh. I really would like to talk to you a lot longer, Alfred. But as you see, I'm very busy right now. Right, take this punk to jail now and lock him up. What do you think you're going to do to me? I've nothing in mind yet. But of course, you'll be executed sooner or later. And the charge will be treason, Alfred. Take him away. Hey, wait! Dolph! Dolph! You'll never succeed with this! Yes, it's me. Yes, you arrested Ollie. Good. Dolph is justice. <laughs> Alfred is so merry, so very, very merry. He's even bright and cheerful if things are going wrong. Whenever he's downhearted, 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 the feeling's never with him for very, very long. Young Alfred is quite sporty, he likes to be quite sporty, he's very much like any normal lively lad. Sometimes he can be naughty, but even when he's naughty, you'll find he's never, never, ever really bad. Join us again.